Hey everyone, and let's continue our conversations about integration between web services. And today I am going to introduce you my uh, implementation of using protocol buffers, protobuf from Google. Uh, it's, it is kind of competitors of uh, JSON format, but it's uh, lighter. Uh, we can send some message uh, using HTTP, HTTP protocol, but uh, we can serialize our uh, object into byte array and uh, it the results as a result the message will be uh, lighter okay let's have a look on my uh, build gradle file okay uh, first of all i have add the build script and uh, dependency to protobuf gradle plugin uh, next uh, i add uh, this plugin into this section. Next, um, I add uh, the following dependency, uh, and uh, I add uh, this dependency for my compi uh, compilation task to generate prot to generate um, classes from uh, the following file. Yeah, uh, you can. Uh, find how you can um, create your own um, scheme for your classes and for your messages uh, using protobuf uh, on the internet. Okay, uh, next I add this path to my source sets uh, to get uh, generated classes. Okay, next, let's have a look on configuration, protobuf config. Uh, as you can see, uh, we should have a message converter, simple beam, and uh, also I have created some um, repository mock for, uh, for the reason to receive objects to test. Okay. Next, I have created a course controller, and uh, as you can see, uh, it's a different media type value, and uh, mm, everything is simple. I have started this web service, and uh, I have created a client web service. Mm, also, you can find uh, protobuf course test, and uh, it's a simple example of uh, testing this controller. Next, I have had uh, the same um, constructions. Okay, but uh, we sh okay, it's uh, another way to add source directory, but uh, the first one is better. Okay, uh, everything is uh, edit in the same way. Next, we have a config for protobuf HTTP message converter, and uh, I used simple um, REST template. Uh, I add this protobuf HTTP message converter to a REST template, and I try to uh, use HTTP GET method, and uh, as a result, we can see in our uh, logs successful response with uh, the following information. Okay, uh, I'm going to put uh, the links to my GitHub repositories uh, with this project project below the video, and uh, feel free to ask questions in comment section. Uh, thank you for your attention. See you later. Bye.